Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can use Slicer to navigate multiple reports or dashboard like for example you have these HR analytics dashboard and diversity ratio dashboard which I have shown you step by step how you can develop it but let's say you have these two and maybe a couple of more in your real-time environment and you want to give a flexibility to the user like a slicer where the dashboards are listed in the slicer and then once you click on any of the slicer it should be able to take you to that dashboard so that's the configuration i want to show you because in one of my real time scenario i have found it useful where i have implemented this functionality where i had uh, six different views of uh, of the data that uh, we have been producing and i wanted to give them a easy to use interface where they can switch from one view to another without much of an issue all right so how we can configure is something which i will tell you and before that a quick information that, uh, that if you have landed very first time on my channel then this google sheet where i am keeping all of my power bi video as you can see the previous 196 videos are listed over here and the link of this sheet is present in the description so that you can easily um, access it come here search any of my previous video and using the link present in the column b you can go through to go through that video so you can uh, browse through all of the videos that i have published related to the visualization dax and even the dashboard as you can see which i have highlighted also I have been publishing the exercises as you can see like uh, various different exercises that you can follow using the links which are present here okay so that's something I wanted to show you uh, uh, to to maximize the usage of content from my channel all right with that information let's go and configure this so the first thing first is uh, these are the fields which are not available anywhere based on which you can create a slicer. So that's the number one thing that we need to bring in these exact names in the data set. So for that, what I will going to do is I'll come to my main first tab, which is home and I will click on enter data, enter data. And let's give it a name as dashboards. You can click dashboards, reports, whatever you want. We have first HR analytics dashboard just make sure that the this name and the tab name is same i enter diversity ratio right so the name is same otherwise you will find issues in your here when you will do it in the front end or configure it in the front end name of the table is let's say the same dashboards and let's click on load and you will see a dashboard table is present here where the dashboard field is present which contains the name of these two dashboards so our first requirement is met that we are able to take or we are we are able to bring in the name of the pages into a field now based on this field we can create a slicer so i'll go to the visualization i will going to click on the slicer and I'll click on the dashboards. So I have these dashboard, diversity ratio and HR analytics dashboard, right? Okay, so I am doing like this for now, right? Not a proper place, I, I can place it here, but I want to give you one exercise in the end for this, right? Uh, that will make it really interesting for you. So we have this, okay, but if I click, nothing happens right because no page navigation is being created and the page navigation if you have seen my previous videos is basically based on uh, the buttons so if i go over here insert and uh, click on the buttons and click blank let's say and let me put the blank over here or maybe here and in this we will going to uh, come here in style text and uh, let's say visit okay so we have this button now 
where we can click and it should be visit i will just put it over here down here maybe not a good place right so think about this this is exercise i will going to give you in the end uh, just wait for it so diversity ratio hr analytics ratio visit nothing will happen until i configure the action so again i am in the button properties i will click enable the action and in the action i need to select the type of the action which will be page navigation now we have the page navigation we need to select where it should go or what is the destination now we have the only one option diversity but the way we want is that this two component should be basically present in all of these dashboards and it should be able to take us to whatever dashboard we select not just one or two dashboard or a specific dashboard so we will going to utilize this expression over here so we will click here the uh, destination as an action we will have the field value and uh, we will select the field value which is dashboard that contains the name of the dashboard right we will keep the default summarization and click okay all right and that is all you need to do now select a dashboard diversity ratio and hold down the control and visit since we are in a development mode that's why we need to control click so i'll click over here and here i am in the diversity dashboard now the same component needs to be here to go back right so what i'll do is i will select this and i will select the oops not control click or let me select this first and select this by holding down control key copy and and before copy this one thing i realized this check box enables the multi select right you can hold down your control and select another value but we don't want that we only want user to select only one page right because uh, only one page as a behavior you should be able to uh, expose it to your users so for that what you need to come is do is come over here slicer settings selection and make it a single select that way you will only be able to select one value even if you are holding down your control key so now you we first select this then select this copy and paste one or more of copied visual can stay in sync with the visual it was copied from right so we have copied make sure you say don't sync so let's click on the don't sync right we don't want to sync otherwise always Once if you are on diversity, it will show us the diversity. So now, if I click over here on HR Analytics, I click Control click over here. I come back to my dashboard, and here the diversity ratio is selected. So I can click Control click and come here. Now all of my configuration is done. The only thing which is not done is the right placement. I can very easily place it here, but I want you to do what I want you to do as an exercise is create a slicer panel where you should have a panel like a button or something uh, which should basically open up a slicer panel for you and there you should have these dashboard listed this is just to add a good interactivity so that it is not exactly part of your filters but it is something a dashboard level interactivity that you have planned for your multiple reports or dashboard which you want as a slicer panel and if you are not sure how to do that then this is my last video building a slicer panel in power bi report or dashboard i will give you the link over here i'll make sure before i publish this video this video is present and you should be able to then do this piece where this is sort of hidden and only available when you click let's say over here uh, this is the configuration i have done i think at the top probably here a slicer open a panel open and where you can select and then you can hide it this is like adding more and better interactivity uh, to your dashboard so something i want you to do uh, which will feel like uh, it is a web sort of a platform or a web page where you have the show height component as well in terms of filters or slicers so that's something i wanted to show you how you can add this interactivity when you have the multiple reports or multiple dashboards where your users are having basically uh, all these dashboards listed over here just think about it if you have let's say 15 different views or 18 different views having a list of the views 
really go in a long way to give a right user experience. With that exercise, uh, I will now leave from this video and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.